Hi guys, my name is Megan Gonzalez and I am your luxury real estate expert. And today we're diving into something that all of us in the industry have been buzzing about, talking about, stressing about for the last several months, and that is buyer broker agreements. They are here, so let's dive right in. Now, up until this point, they certainly existed, but they weren't necessarily required. And honestly, I'm that old school handshake kind of gal, where if we say we're working together, we're working together. We've got a great relationship, communication, we know what we're working towards. So I've got that warm and fuzzy feeling in my heart that we're working together and you're not gonna go and cheat on me with another agent. But now, legally speaking, I can't even open a door to a property for you until we have this agreement in place. So this really opens up a lot of conversations that are new to everybody. The other thing that's different up until this point is that it was almost looked at as though representation for a buyer was free because it was the seller side that paid for it. It was listed very clearly in the MLS what the seller was agreeing to pay for a buyer's agent and the standard was two and a half percent. So it was just neatly wrapped up into the transaction and super easy for everybody. But now we're looking at it differently and it makes sense because now we're looking at it like each party is paying for their own representation the same way you would uh, with lawyers. You wanna hire your lawyer, they wanna hire their lawyer, and you wanna make sure that you're hiring the better lawyer, the one that's gonna really fight for you and has the knowledge and experience to do so. Now, with these agreements, there are two factors that are really important that I wanna talk about. The first one is that you can uh, enter into it for a singular property address, a list of addresses, or a time period. So let's say you weren't even looking for a property, but something came across your plate. You have to see it. It might just be the thing that you didn't even know you needed. So go ahead and enter into the agreement for just that one address. And you can always decide what you want to do after the fact. But if you're a serious house hunter, then I'd say do it for a period of time because you know it's going to take that. So do it for one month, three months, six months, whatever you think it's going to take you. The second part that is really important about the agreement is the compensation. So so this needs to be negotiated before you even see a single property. What are you willing to pay for the representation for yourself? So like I said, up until now, the standard has been two and a half percent of the purchase price. Now it can be a, a flat dollar amount that you agree to pay, or it can still be a percentage of the purchase price, but you need to decide upon it and make it very clear up front. Now, the good news is you can actually, when you write an offer, you can actually ask the seller to provide a concession in order to pay for your agent's commission. So there's a chance that you are not paying the commission yourself, that you're going back to the old way of the seller paying it. But this way, it's just super clear and transparent and everybody knows what's going on, who's who's uh, representing who, who's getting paid what, who has what duties and responsibilities, all of those good things. So again, look at it like you're hiring your lawyer though, and make sure that they have experience and knowledge in contracts, because we, especially here in California, we know there's a lot of contracts and you want somebody that knows how to write them and read them to protect you. There's a lot of scary stuff out there. Number two, somebody that has the negotiation skills, of course, to get you the best deal possible. And number three, somebody that really has the knowledge of the industry, the area and inspections and title and easements and all of these things that go along with a property. Because I mean, we all know this is probably the biggest purchase that you're making in your life. So you want to be protected. You want somebody that is an expert in their field and knows what they're doing. So I hope this was helpful. I know it's a lot of information. And if you have any questions about a buyer broker agreement, about house hunting, about selling your home, about real estate in general, whatever your question is, put it down below so I can answer it. Shoot me an email or give me a call. Make sure you like this video, subscribe so you get all of the updates on real estate tips and tricks and our latest property tours. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Megan Gonzalez and I look forward to talking to you soon.